boy Flash from Flash Gaming. And today, I got a little Nick Cassianos debut for you guys. This car is really good. Hitting stats are off the charts. He's got 96 contact versus righties, 125 versus lefties, 102 power versus righties, 125 versus lefties. He looks great all around. The only thing I really don't like about this card is the defense. But so far, as you guys can see, I've used him a little bit. And the fielding is all right. He plays pretty good left field in left field. And he's not too bad for me out there. I recorded this video probably about a couple days ago, so that's why he's parallel one. But the game that I recorded, it was my first time using him. And it's safe to say this card's going to be here for a while. Let's get into the game. All right, so we end up picking Jared Weaver to pitch, set our lineup. We're just looking not to face some kind of goon here. And we end up facing a goon. I mean, the dude was pretty good. He had Keiko on the mound, Trout, Utley, Thomas. He had his creative player, Adrian Beltre. It's pretty cool to see. A few other guys, Michael Young, Joe Maurer, Cole Calhoun. You could tell he was a Rangers fan just off the jump by his team. And yeah, so we look to see a pretty good record. 68 and 17, that's a solid record, which means it's going to be a great game. So we start off first at bat, 1-1 against Mike Trout. We go slider away, and he's going to rip that John right back up the middle for a base hit. And we're already starting the game off bad. Not great to see. Jared Weaver, I don't know how I feel about him so far. Um, he did get rocked in this game, I'll just let you guys know that now. So yeah, we then go sinker away to Utley, and that ball is put miles out of the stadium by Chase Utley over everything. Not surprised there. Bad pitch by Weaver. Bad location. And a great swing by him. Give us a, give him a 2 nothing lead. Then we come up with Frank Thomas. Try to jam him in with that fastball. He really did have a chance to hit that out because we left it over the middle of the plate a little bit. But he's going to pop that up. Give us the first out of the inning. Get us closer to be able to hit. Then he comes up with Adrian Beltre, his creative player. It's pretty cool to see Adrian Beltre because he doesn't have a, they don't have his rights in the game. We give him that low and in-circle change, and he absolutely crushes it to left center. Right over that big wall out there. And he gives himself a 3-0 lead. We're already digging ourselves in a bad spot, but that's all right because, you know, we're him, and we're going to end up hitting the ball later in the game. We're then facing Joe Maurer here. Don't really know what to throw him at this point because he's crushing everything, so we try to go to that sinker away again. Same thing with Fibre Utley, and what does he do? Hits it over the left field wall again. Not, I shouldn't have been surprised there because that's literally the pitch that Ali hit out. Shouldn't have thrown it in the first place, but yeah. 4 nothing lead. He absolutely crushed that ball. We're just trying to get out of the inning at this point. Michael Young comes up to the plate now. 2-2 two -two count. We're just looking to strike him out in the slider low and away. And we get him the ground out. Great pitch by me. And yeah, Marte's going to make the play third over first base. We got two outs in the inning. By the way, guys, this is a post-com. I was kind of heated during this game, and I was talking to my boy Jake, so I wasn't bad at you know. Like, record the video while I was in there. So, yeah, it's a post commentary. As he goes yard with Cole Calhoun on a sinker in. Another great swing by him. Shouldn't have been surprised by that. He's crushing the sinker all game. Gives himself a 5 death lead. And on Legend, that's very hard to come back from. Now, with two outs, once again, we're just trying to get out of the inning. Give a sinker away to Roberto. And he's going to line that thing right back up the middle. And at this point, I'm thinking, who did we run into? Because this dude is insane. I don't know. But, yeah. Then he comes up with his pitcher, Dallas Keuchel. He batted around at this point, and I'm already, like, paranoid. Try to go slider in, because I have no idea what's a throw to his pitcher, because I'm afraid he's going to get with a hit with his pitcher, too. And what does he do? Absolutely crushes one into the gap with his pitcher. I'm thinking to myself, you got to be kidding me. It's only going to end up being a single, but still. I'm absolutely shook at this point, thinking about how bad my record is going to be after this game. 31-5 going into this game. I was not trying to be 31-6. and six. So we give him the sinker away to Trout. He's going to foul that ball off. First and third, he could really change the game here with one swing of a bat. We go change up in again. Terrible pitch by us. Left it super up in the zone. He should have put that ball to the moon, but he didn't. Then we go 12-6, low and in. Can't get it to do anything there. Joe Mauer with a great block. He wasn't really biting at too many pitches out of the zone in this game. So we try to go slider away. And he's going to ground that to Devers. Devers is going to come across his body, make the nice play to second base. And now, we just got to hit the ball. We started off with Cato Marte, he's bad, 455 for us. Get that cutter away, and we just miss it. I should not have missed that pitch at all. It was a great pitch to hit, and it was just out of our PCI. That ball should should have been in the stands. Then we come up with Big Daddy Flash, 353 average. Terrible for my creative player, but great for anybody else. Gets the change up in, and we didn't even hit that ball great. But we got just enough of it with his type of power to hit that ball out and put it right over the left field wall. 
This stadium is not max elevation. It is like 2,500, which is pretty surprising that all these are leaving. As Devers just goes up and kisses Big Daddy Flash. Not surprised. Big Daddy Flash is a cutie. And comes up Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos is the debut guy. We're going to take a sinker low and away. Awesome take by me. Should have probably swung at it because I usually crush that pitch, but it is what it is. Just looking for something to drive in the middle of the plate. He gives us that cutter away, and we should have crushed it once again, but we just missed it. Great pitch by him to locate it on that low and low and away spot in the, uh, in the zone. And yeah, we ground out, just looking to limit his production on offense. We go, try to go sinker low and, low and in to his creative player, Beltre. And what does he do again? Absolutely crushes me again. Same spot as last time, sinker low and in this time. Pretty much all of his runs are on sinkers against Weaver. So maybe Weaver's sinker's not good, or this dude is just crazy against sinkers. Again, try to go low and away with the fastball instead of the sinker this time, and he absolutely destroys it out to right center field. Mookie Betts looking to rob this one, and guess what? He makes a highway robbery, takes it back, and that's going to end up being very big later in the game. We then come up with Joe Mauer, just looking to make it, take a good swing with him. Joe Mauer's like my worst player on offense, and we take a nice swing, late side of good, low in the zone, or b below the zone, and with 74 power, 76 power, whatever he has, that's not going anywhere. Joe Mauer is a noodle bat, and he proved it right there. Then we come up with Mookie Betts. So we're going to have a good at bat here. We get a change up blown in. We struggled against that pitch all game. That time, we hit it pretty well. Just foul early on it. So we're thinking, maybe try to lay off that low and change up. Waiting for the pitch. He gives us that low and away sinker, and we absolutely crush it with Mookie Betts. Get off me, baseball. Great swing by Mookie. We make it a 7-2 game. Just looking to chip away at this lead as much as possible. Then come up with Ketel Marte. Bottom of the third inning now. Cattell is just looking to take a good swing here. He gets that change up pretty much right down the middle. We probably should have hit that ball out, but a single up the middle is not too bad either. We'll definitely take that in that situation. We end up not doing anything with our creative player. Then we come up with Rafael Devers. We're looking for a sinker in lefty-lefty. That's what everybody loves to throw in this game, like I said in my hitting tips. So we're just pretty much waiting for it, sitting on it, and he gives it to us, and we absolutely destroy it to right center. Absolute moonshot by Rafael Devers. It's over in the playground. You know, if it's at that playground, then it's a fucking nuke. And that's what he does. 7-4 ball game. Rafael Devers does his thing. Then we come up with our boy Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos looking to take a good swing here. Take an awful swing on a change up there. Not what you want to see. Oh, one count. Just looking to take a nice swing. Gives us that slider in. Perfect, perfect with Castellanos. And that's going to get down. We got a little glitch here. Had no idea what was going on. But what are you going to do? Then we come up with Toglia, bottom of the third once again. We're looking for that sinker away, the one that we hit out with Mookie. And he's going to give us the cutter, but since we're around that area, we end up just hitting it out to right, little flare shot in the right field. So now we got two runners on. We're looking to tie this game, which we didn't think was possible after he put up a seven spot early in the game. So we come up with Joe Maurer, which is bad because Joe Maurer is pretty much a noodle bat on offense. I do not want to see that because I can't really hit with Joe Maurer that well. But he gives us a nice pitch to hit there. Take the other way, and we take an awful swing. Worst swing I took all game. So we're thinking, all right, he's probably going to go off speed again. He does go off speed again. We take a nice swing, just not there with the PCI. It was a pretty much a perfect pitch. And yeah, don't end up doing anything in the bottom of the third. We're looking to, we're in a good spot in striking distance. So he has Mike Trout up in the top of the fourth. We end up bringing David Price in. This is my first time using David Price. I just bought him for my God Squad because I did not really have that many good pitchers. That's how I got Weaver and uh, David Price. Weaver, after this game, I might have to get rid of him. David Price, on the other hand, I don't think so. He pitched great the first inning he was in. We tried to go that circle change away. Couldn't dot it. I had trouble with the circle change all game. Didn't know the, really the timing on it. We then goes sinker middle away. He's going to foul that ball off. Anytime you're pitching to Trout, you have to be careful because he has the best swing in the game. And he can kill you at any time. We then go fastball high and in. It's a pitch that he probably wasn't expecting. Well, I guess he was because he absolutely destroys it. Just foul. If he was on time with that, probably would have been a home run. So then we're thinking circle low and circle change low and in. Try to catch him off balance. And with, that's what, exactly what we do. Pop him up. You can tell Marte is going to go grab that one for the first out of the inning. Great pitch by us. Perfect dot pretty much. We're then facing Chase Utley. Phillies legend, one of my favorite players of all time. Shout out to Philadelphia Phillies, best team in baseball, by the way. We go cut low and away, looking to dot this right on that corner. We didn't get it on the corner, but he still swung and missed. Terrible swing by him, too early. He was probably looking for a sinker in there. We're then going four seam away, just looking to get him to be early on it. Hits my second baseman. 
and he takes a great swing, but Nick Cassiatis is going to be there for the out. That's pretty unlucky for him, but I'm not complaining. I'll take that any day of the week. Then with two outs, we're facing Frank Thomas. At this point, I'm shitting my pants. I really don't know what to throw him because Frank Thomas against the lefty is basically an automatic home run. Go sinker low and in. He's going to swing too early on that. I don't really know what he was expecting there to be early on the sinker, but we don't know. Then we try to go cutter away, try to dot it up. And we do perfectly. Perfect pitch by us. Perfect pitch by David Price. Then we're thinking, let's try to get him off balance on the curve low. He doesn't bite, so now I'm thinking, I got to put something in the zone. Got to make him swing. We go with the circle change low and then just trying to get it on that corner. We miss our spot, and he absolutely crushes it to center field over the fence right next to the batter's eye, and that's going to go to the concession stands out in center. Great swing by him. Bad pitch by us. So, yeah, then we're facing Adrian Beltre, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Got to give a back-to-back. Beltre already has two homers on the game. We go sinker way, just whiffs on it. His timing was a little messed up this game, I'm not going to lie. Then we go cutter in. Once I took out uh, Weaver, uh, this dude really didn't do much on offense. Maybe he was just seeing Weaver well. He was confident. I have no idea what it was. But yeah, 0-2 count. We go circle change low and in. He destroys it. He was crushing that circle change all game. So we didn't really end up throwing it much after that. So we're thinking, sinker in. Let's try to dot it up. Let's try to end the inning. Fouls it off, as you'd expect, because this is MLB The Show 22 f- foul off edition. Everything is fouled off in this game. So we're thinking, sinker away, try to get, get him to ground out. And he fouls it off once again. Not surprised at this point. So we're going to go cut her away, looking to dot this freezing back door. And he's going to be early on it. 91 miles an hour cutter compared to that 95 sinker is very nasty. Then the bottom of the fourth, didn't do much on offense. With our pitcher, we popped up about 10 feet in the air. Terrible swing. And yeah, nothing in the bottom of the fourth. So we're thinking, oh, got to go pitch. Keep this game close. Keep it to a point where we can tie it up at any point in the game. Top of the fifth, facing uh, Cole Calhoun. To end the inning, cut her away, absolute dot, perfect pitch by David Price. This dude is frozen in his boots, awesome pitch. Then the bottom of the fifth, two outs with Devers. Again, this game got quiet for a little while. Devers has a nice little flare out to left center. Shouldn't have been a hit probably, but we'll take it any day of the week. We'll take the flukies. Don't mind it at all. Then we come up with the debut guy, Nick Cassianos. He's one for two in the game already, looking to be two for three. We get the change up loaded, and at this point, I'm nervous with Cassianos. I'm trying to do a little bit too much. Didn't, couldn't do anything with that pitch early on it. Then we take an awful swing and a slider there, and we're thinking, oh no, 0-2 oh, count. Let's just be patient, wait for ours. We swing at a terrible cutter in, and yeah, pretty much waste the at-bat there entirely. So yeah, go to the top of the sixth. Again, this is turning a little bit of a pitcher's duel through the middle of this game. Top of the sixth. We go cutter in, miss our spot, leaves leaks right over the middle of the plate, but he is, does nothing with it because he stinks. Good knuckle curve low and in, looking just to dot it up, try to change everything up, and he absolutely destroys it. I don't know what I was doing with that uh, knuckle curve low and in. I thought maybe I could trick him a little bit because he wouldn't expect it, but no, he crushed it. And he goes up with Chase Utley. Lefty, lefty. I haven't thrown him a sinker low and in, high and in all game, and he decides to run on me. I don't know why he would run on Joe Maurer, but Joe Maurer does the thing that I expect him to do. He hoses him. All right, so then we cut to the bottom of the six. Michael Toglia up at the dish, looking for a pitch to drive, looking for something to crush over the fence. He's going to foul that circle change or that change up off low and in. I haven't been able to hit that pitch all game, still can't hit it. He get, then goes sinker low and away. Same pitch I hit out with Mookie Betts, I hit out with Toglia. You don't test me on the same pitch I hit out already. I'm too good to miss that pitch two times in a row. Crush it with Toglia. Makes it an 8-5 ball game. Puts us in perfect striking distance to tie this game up. We then come up with Joe Maurer. Bottom of the sixth inning. Joe Maurer is looking to just take a good swing on a ball. He gets a nice pitch to hit. Hits it pretty well. All the way out to the track. Ends up not getting out. At this point, I'm like, come on, dude. If Joe Maurer just had a little bit more power, that ball could have went. Then we come up with Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts crushes lefties, and he's crushed Keiko so far in the game. We get that cutter low and out, no and then we just miss it. That ball probably could have left with somebody who had a little bit more power, like Cassiano, so probably would have left. But not a bad swing, just under it. And I'm okay with that because I'm seeing the ball better out of his hand. I'm taking pretty pretty good swings. Then we come up with Austin Kendrick. We get a change up low low. Take an awful swing. That change up was abusing me all game, pretty much. 0-1 count. We get the cutter away. 
And at this point, I'm thinking, I'm taking pretty good swings. The timing's not all the way there, but the swings aren't too bad. We just got to put it all together next inning and try to tie this game up. We're then facing Beltre. Beltre has two jacks already in the game. We go sinker high and in. Awesome pitch by David Price. Then we're thinking, let's change it up. Let's go fastball away. Let's try to catch him off guard. And we dot that thing. He just misses it. 0-2 count now. We try to go knuckle curve low. Maybe he'll finally bite at one of these. And he does. We get him swinging. And the top of the seventh inning. Looking to tie this game up in the bottom of the seventh. So we start off the inning with Ketel Marte. Ketel Marte is one for three on the game. Looking to be two for four. He gets a change up low. This probably shouldn't have been a hit, but we're going to take it any day of the week. I'm not going to complain. Like I said earlier, the Flukies, they can come my way all they want. We then come up with uh, Rafael De or Big Daddy Flash. Big Daddy Flash looking to do something. He hasn't been too good for me. Takes a sinker away. Drives it out to right. Bad swing by us. Two bad swings in a row, but we're not going to be complaining about that at all. I'm not going to complain. So, come up with Devers. Devers just looking to drive something. Look for that sinker in. We get the changeup away, and at this point, since I was early on it, I was thinking he's going to keep going away with those off-speed pitches. So, it's exactly what he does. Gives us that slider away. So, at this point, I'm just ready for some away. He then goes sinker in the pitch. I'm always waiting on, and I was late on it. Well, late side of good, which pretty much is late. So, at that point, I'm like, damn it. So, we come up with Nick Castellanos, the debut guy. He's looking to do something great. We take... We don't take, actually. We swing at a terrible slider in. Makes a, a bat a 1. We then swing at a change up low. Gotta leave that pitch in the dirt. 0 2 count. This could really make or break the game for us. We then fell off that cutter in. Probably shouldn't have fouled it off, but we'll take it. The game is playing pretty bad today. Then we go change up low. We get the check swing. So 1 2 count. I'm looking to take a swing. Take a great swing. Tie this game up. Take the sinker away. This point, I'm getting nervous. He's probably nervous. 2-2 two, two count. He goes cutter away, and Nick Castellanos goes yard. There's a deep drive by Castellanos. I know you all wanted to see it. Great swing by Castellanos to give us a tie ball game. And yeah, Michael Togli is up at the plate now. He ends up doing nothing. Nothing happens in the top of the eighth either. Bottom of the eighth, we come up with Joe Maurer. Joe Maurer, ter terrible hitter. Fell off that pitch low. Then let's cut to the live audio. Joe Mauer! Perfect, perfect! Yes, he went yard. So, as y'all can see, my boy Joe Mauer, he went yabo. I was talking to my boy Jake in the party chat. Joe Mauer got his shit done. Wasn't expecting that at all from Joe Mauer, especially Joe. Worst hitter on the team. And as say if you can say, we did it, Joe. So yeah. Nine to eight now. Top of the ninth inning. We're looking to shut this game down. We go splitter low and in. He takes a terrible swing. So yeah. So we get our first out of the inning. He hits Clay Holmes in. He's gonna pinch hit, obviously. He pinch hits Rafael Devers, and I'm like, shit, how are we gonna pinch hit Devers? Devers is insane this in this game. As you can see, he already has a bomb for me. So we're thinking, let's pitch him away. Can't give him anything in the drive. Give him that fastball away, he doesn't bite. So my dumbass is saying, alright, let's go a little bit more in. And this is what he does. Takes me yard. Makes it a 9-9 ball game in the top of the ninth. And I'm like, damn it, I might lose now. So yeah, terrible pitch by us. Great swing by him. Make it a 9-9 ball game. So, we got two outs in the inning now. Chase Elliott's going to ground that out to Marte at second base. We get out of the inning, 9-9. Nine nine. Good thing he didn't get any more. Puts us in a bad spot if he did. So, yeah. Bottom of the ninth inning. We're looking to win this ball game. He brings in Jansen. And I'm like, damn it. Don't know if I'm going to be able to hit Jansen. Jansen's pretty nasty. Sinker cutter combo. He throws a set sinker. And I do not know why I was sitting in. But I was. He's going to ground that out to second base. For the first out of the inning. We then come up with Rafael Devers. Our three hitter. We get Devin Williams warming up in the bullpen. Trying to win the game here. Devers is 2 for 4 on the game. Gives us that cutter high. Swing and miss on it. Bad swing by us. Thought I could hit that one out. 
There goes that slider low. That was the pitch to hit out. That was really the one. If I just got a little bit under it, could have done it. Ended up not doing it there. Then he's going to go sinker away. We destroyed out to left field. Pretty good swing. Just laid on it, though. So it's going to go over the fence. Just foul, though. Still have a chance in this at bat down 0-2. He goes slider in, and we take an awful swing at it for the second now of the inning. I was nervous at that point, so that's probably why I didn't hit it. So then we come up with Nick Cassianos. He's looking to be the hero here. You get that sinker low and away, and I don't know if you guys saw the PCI movement there, but I probably could have perfect, perfect that over the fence. Just didn't swing because, I don't know. Didn't look like the right pitch to hit. So in the 0-2 count, he gives us that slider low once again, and I just didn't see it get out of his hand. I saw the cutter. And yeah, so we get 1-2-3 in the bottom of the ninth. Top of the 10th now. We're looking to shut him down. We go cutter away. Frank Thomas fouls that off down the line. Johan Durans in his second inning of work. He gave up the bomb in the first inning, in his first inning, but that's all right. We're still going to leave him out there because of how nasty he is. So we throw that down the third base. We leave him stranded there, which is great by us. Great to leave him stranded because we do not want him on second to score because that puts us in a really bad spot. Comes up with Beltre. Beltre's been killing us all game. Two for four. We go fastball and we try to jam him, and that's exactly what we do. Austin Kent is going to go catch that one for the second out of the inning. And yeah, we're in a perfect spot here. All we have to do is just get this third out, and we can go hit and win the ball game. He steps up with Gary Carter. He put in Gary Carter for Joe Maurer when I brought in uh, David Price. Um, so we go splitter low. Misses it. This is a great at bat. I'll tell you all that. Nine pitch at bat, something like that. He's going to foul off that fastball high. Now I'm just trying to get him to ground out or something. I wasn't even trying to strike him out. We go knuckle curve or 12 6 cur curve low. Doesn't swing it out, doesn't bite. Is what it is. Then goes splitter low. He's going to foul that one off. He just kept fouling off pitches. He wouldn't go down without a fight. Go fastball in. Fouls it off once again. I think that was a very late swing, which you hate to see. Late swing. All right. Then go cutter away. Cutter away doesn't get him. So at this point, we have no idea what to throw. He's fouling everything off. Then we go spl splitter low and in. Fouls off once again. So at this point, I'm thinking, all right, let's be smart here. Let's give him the right pitch. Go fast behind him. And he fouls another ball off. So I'm like, all right, got to go splitter low and away here. Could give him a ground out or a strike out. Let's see what he does. And he's going to swing and miss on it. Puts us in a perfect spot to go to the bottom of the 10th inning and win this ball game. We step up Michael Toglia against Kenley Jansen. He gives us a pitch to hit, and we hit it right into that hole. Michael Toglia is the king of singles through the right side. And yeah, first and third, no outs. I'm looking to win this ball game. We ended up popping up with Maurer. I just cut it out because of how bad a swing it was. So we come up with Mookie Betts. He's looking to win the game. He gets a sinker high and in, and we, we're just under it, but it might be just enough to get him home. He could get hosed here, but guess who's running? Nick Cassianos. Nick Cassianos with that 65 speed is just enough to win the game for us. We end up walking him off. Extra inning thriller. Made a great comeback on Legend there. Really didn't think I was going to be able to win that game. The boys are hyped. They're running around the field. Love to see it. Great game. My opponent, Baseball Beast 2 Awesome game. He played his heart out. And it was a fun one. Appreciate it. So yeah, as you see... Nick Cassiano's player of the game. Love to see that. Johan Duran gets the win. Kenley Jansen's fat ass gets the loss. We win 10-9. 14 hits on Legend. We love to see that because I've been struggling on Legend this year so far. After last year being amazing on Legend. So yeah. Great game by us. Beltre had two home runs for him. Frank Thomas killed me. For our team, Devers did great. Martz, everybody did great on my team. Everybody had a hit besides Kendrick. And Kendrick faced lefties pretty much all game. So I'm not surprised by that. So yeah. It was an awesome game. And we did amazing. Nothing much else you could ask for from a legend game this late in the season. So, yeah. So, you guys saw the game. We just snuck that one out. And that brought us to 927 rating on the season. Um, as far as inning played, we don't really have much. Um, I'm 32 and 5 this season since I just made this account. Uh, I wish the record was a little bit better. There's a few games I lost in there that I probably shouldn't have lost. So, yeah. As far as this card goes, I really like this Nick Cassianos card. And yeah, he's going to be in this lineup for a long time. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you all later. Peace.